Hey everybody, it's Jay Esperance. We're gonna do another Keep It Tiny Short. Today I want to talk about how to get five-star reviews. If you have some, you need to get more. Sooner or later, someone's gonna give you that uh, one-star review because they just didn't understand, you know, short-term rentals and the space that we live in. And what you wanna do is have so many five-star reviews that that one one-star review doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt you too bad, right? How do you get more five-star reviews? I personally believe that it's making your stay more memorable. What can set you apart and make the guests remember your space in a very positive way? Let's keep in mind, guests do not leave you a review when they're in your space. They leave you a review after they already have left. So it's all about how do they feel when they look back and think about your stay. So what you wanna do is make it memorable and you wanna make it uh, set apart from any other space that they've already stayed in. So today, let's jump into it. Let's talk about that. <music> Before we go any further, you need to brand your short-term rental. If your short-term rental isn't branded, you're not doing this right. The reason being is, is you never want to be just that Airbnb, just that hip camp, just that VRBO that we stayed at, you know, when we visited or when we did this. You want to be the Windsor. You want to be the view. You want to be the cube. You know, maybe your space is a uh, container home and it's a square, you know. These names allow people to easily remember how they felt while they were inside of your space. Also, what you can do is have some fun with it. So it unlocks a lot of other things that you can do within your space with maybe branded items throughout this space that, that continue that vibe, that aura that the name gives off. Maybe you take it a step further and you really have some fun with it and you bust your marketing chops and you give it some colors that people can remember. You start a social media uh, uh, platform for it. You know, all of these things, the more that you lean into it, the better it's gonna be for you and the more memorable your stay is the easier it is for you to get those five-star reviews. Do you remember those old Polaroid cameras, the ones where you could take a photo of someone and it would print out immediately, then you shake it like a Polaroid picture? I guess it is a Polaroid picture because in this flashback, it's back in the day, so you would be actually using a Polaroid camera, but I digress, right? So those are coming back in style. So what you want to do is pop over to uh, Amazon and grab one of those. It's cheap. Uh, and it also doesn't use power, it doesn't have to be charged up, it uses batteries for all my people who have off-grid stays. I love y'all. And what you can do is leave that for guests. So now what you're doing is giving them a free souvenir. It's a lot of fun. They're taking a picture of themselves. They literally can hold on to it and keep it forever. A little bit goes a very long way, right? Now let's think about what else is going on here. They took that really awesome photo in your short-term rental that's gonna last them, the photo will last them forever. And the, the backdrop, which is your short-term rental, stays with them forever as well. They're gonna show it to friends, they're gonna say, oh, this is the Cube, the Windsor. Remember, we gave it a name, we titled it, we branded it. So now people are gonna say, oh, that's really cool. I wanna stay there too, right? So it just creates this one big loop that keeps going on and on, right? So I guess now's a good time for me to admit uh, in, a, in another life, I was a director of marketing. So, you know, these things really go a very long way and it's all about thinking out of the box. That's what gets you those five-star reviews. All right, let's take this idea one step further. You know those booklets, the journals that we put in our stays, you do it, I do it, everyone does it, uh, where uh, the guests can write down their name and leave the next guest a tip and it's like a cute thing that you could look at and see about the, the last people's stays. Well, there's booklets made for these photos. So what you can do is have a guest leave a photo of themselves inside of your space for the next guest to see. And what this does is take something that's extremely isolated, like staying at a private Airbnb, and it gives it a sense of community. Hey, oh, look at these people. They stayed here before. Wow, like this is a lot of fun. Like it, it, it just bumps it up to a level that no one else is doing. And that's what you want to do. That's how you make your stay memorable, which gives you five star reviews. All right, now we're really gonna have some fun, all right? I've been cooking up some real creative ideas to make my short-term rentals stand out from others. And I'm giving you free game, so let's go. Custom cookies. I know I sound crazy, but follow me here. You know when you go to corporate events or maybe they've handed this out at a hotel that you've stayed at, right? It's just a simple sugar cookie or frosted cookie with a frosting on it that has the name of the, uh, of the hotel or the company that they're handing out. Well, why aren't you handing these out to your guests? You could just leave two on the kitchen countertop 
and it goes a very long way. It's gonna put a smile on their face. It's gonna make them remember the state that they went to if they didn't eat it right then and there. And it's just something cool that just really makes your space stand out. If your space uh, has a fun shape, you know, maybe you have an A-frame, or if you have a container, remember you're calling it the cube, it's the shape of the, the physical building that they're staying in. There's a lot of fun ideas here, and I'm only tossing them out to get your own creative juices flowing and do what makes the most sense for you. Now, I know that this sounds crazy and you probably weren't already thinking about this, so I already scoured the internet. I'm gonna leave some links to some places below that you can go and get these cookies printed out at. These cookies also don't run you a lot of money. Uh, depending on how many you buy, they're one or two bucks. Now, I know that all these things uh, are making you come out of your pockets just a little bit, but these types of things help people remember who you are and they go a very long way and your guests will appreciate them. It's the absolute worst when a guest has to reach out to you for something they should be able to find on their own, whether that be the Wi-Fi, HVAC, how to turn on different appliances, uh, et cetera, right? So what you wanna do is grab a notepad, right? It's this simple, and just write down all of those instructions. You also wanna add uh, local restaurants and attractions that they can go to. You wanna give them uh, a couple different choices as well. You know, not just one pizza place, but two pizza places in case something's closed. Uh, not just one attraction or one hiking trail. Give them multiple ones depending on their own flavor. Now what you've done is you've uh, been their own concierge for them, right? That just bumps up your stay a little bit. Now, to take that a step further, pop over to Canva. It's a free design tool, right? And what you can do is make an ebook. Use your branding, right? Your, your name, the colors that you've picked. Put all of that information that we just said inside of an ebook. And now what you can do is right after a guest books your stay, their stay, uh, you can send them an email and have that ebook in it. That will build anticipation and get them excited for your stay. It also will, again, set your stay apart. No one else is doing these types of things. Let's bump it up a notch, guys. Let's do it together. Now the fun here really only goes as far or stops when you choose to, right? You can have a lot of fun with this with uh, branded rugs, right? Branded doormats, uh, candles, etc. Whatever makes the most sense to you, uh, right, as the host. Uh, do that within your space. These little things really go a very long way to people uh, and, and it really just sets your Airbnb apart. One thing I really want to suggest is that you use these ideas, right? Don't just hold on to them and say that was nice, right? But the person who implements these ideas, those are the people that win, right? So that's everything for today. Thanks for rocking with me. I come up with these ideas all the time, so I'm definitely going to make some more videos like this that help you guys get those five-star reviews. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe. Here at Keep It Tiny, uh, we like to make content about the business side of Airbnb, glamping, and short-term rentals. We have a lot of fun while we do it, and I push out new videos at least once a week.